The exploration of space is difficult. The regions that separate the stars and planets is a vacuum, a hostile environment with temperatures ranging from many thousands of degrees to just a few degrees above absolute zero. The challenges of interstellar exploration are even greater still, predominantly due to the vast distances that must be traversed. The distances are so great, so vast, that they need to be measured in a unit called the light year, the distance that a beam of light travels in a single year. Now, light moves incredibly fast, 186,000 miles per second. So you can imagine the enormity of just a single light year. The closest star, Proxima Centauri, is located a little over four light years away in the constellation of Centaurus. Even the space shuttle, one of the true wonders of modern technology, with a maximum speed of 18,000 miles per hour would take over 50,000 years just to reach the closest star. Even if a ship could be built that could travel at almost the speed of light, the exploration of our cosmos would be a time-consuming endeavor. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, has a diameter of 100,000 light years. And so, even traveling at almost the speed of light, it would take a starship 2,000 generations to make the one-way trip from one end of the galaxy to the next. Beyond our galaxy lies the Andromeda Galaxy, a spiral galaxy not unlike our own Milky Way, and one of our closest galactic neighbors. The Andromeda Galaxy contains an estimated one trillion stars, all waiting to be explored. But to reach this galaxy, we'll take a ship traveling close to the speed of light, about 2.2 million years. Indeed, the entire universe contains billions of such galaxies, spread across billions of light years. Could man ever hope to explore the entire universe without making magnificent breakthroughs in space propulsion?